right, so here's a fighter that a lot of people have been talking about here during fight week, really just because of the nature of his skill set. I haven't seen much in terms of a glaring weakness on film. Your thoughts? It, it doesn't seem like there is one. You know, when you're watching the film and you're critiquing him, there's not much to critique. When you're trying to break down where the weaknesses are, there aren't many. The guy can wrestle, he can grapple, he's got tremendous cardio, great top control, insane durability. He's got it all. He's one of the best mixed martial artists we have seen come on the scene for a long time. But he's got to continue to prove it if he wants to stay where he is right now in the UFC. And perhaps his greatest asset, at least thus far, has been his instinctual nature in the octagon, right? Just knowing which skill to employ at the right time. And certainly, he's got essentially every skill you would want in an MMA arsenal. So Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proven ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him when he needs him to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime to your point in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, back in the octagon here tonight. for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Your referee, he's the third man in the octagon tonight. Date nine, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world. With respect to anywhere else you want to go, if I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to be. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Punches and bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Lunges forward with a left air. Missed on the right hand. So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might bring themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. Walk out to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. 
Slips the punch. Adesanya circling towards the left side now. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Nice counter left there. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice job to set up the counter there. He waited patiently, and when his opponent got a little bit over-aggressive, he greeted him with a beautiful counter. Nicely done. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Straight right hand now just misses. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent... Oh, Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. Oh, yeah, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Come on, let me see that right now. Landed a two there. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Uh, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing was now he's gonna drive kick after kick into his opponent. Trying for a submission here. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Another submission attempt here, and this is a good one. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. from the top now by Strickland. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the ball. Swing and a miss by Strickland. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Under 30 seconds. Just misses the Oh! Dude's hurt. Turn him up. Go we'll get him. Gotta be careful here. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Strickland. Oh, Three times for the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now. Strickland's bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Ready, fight? Ready. Let's do All it. right, here we go with round two. Well, the last style bender's got it going here tonight, DC. As he often says, I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. His accuracy is on a completely different level than most of these middleweights he's facing. Oh, oh he's in real trouble now. Whiffs on the elbow. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Strong straight back there. 
Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can find the shot that's going to finish the fight. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Just missed with the elbow there. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they're... The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time. There it is again. Look at that. Well... Huge kick to the leg. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Israel on the side is a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the left. One minute to go in the round. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Slips. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And just misses with that big right hand. 20 seconds to go. Strickland's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Beautiful body kick. So the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now, he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. 
This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see continued out the path and really try and finish this fight. Strickland's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Adesanya. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Oh, trying to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. He's got to be careful here. Now he's going full mount. Nice positional control here. Three minutes to go in round three. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Strickland's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside position or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Adesanya's right back to the full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Mm, that was nice. Oh, he's... He's spraying blood now. Holy smokes. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many people he's Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last style bender, Sonya. All right, so as they say, another highlight for the appreciable reel of the middleweight champ, Israel Adesanya, your winner tonight by knockout. Adesanya is such a powerful guy and such a big guy that when he lands, he can shut your lights off. Tonight, he gets the job done in spectacular fashion. Them heads and eyes up so we can organize the youth to ride.
colonizer. I'm not a colonizer, sympathizer. Me and all my franchises been survivors, sons and fathers meant for progress at all costs. Any minor setbacks is but a small cause, not enough pressure for me to call a dog's off. I am more the spirit in charge than all y'all. 